Hello everybody! Today I'm going to be doing a video um, in celebration of my new place. So Catherine, my girlfriend and I, um, we have moved to a house and we really, 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 really freaking love it. It's super cute. I'm super excited. Um, and yeah, I, that's where I've been for the last month or so between uh, finishing the film that I was uh, writing and directing and God knows all the crap with the pandemic going on and, and, and work and um, these last couple weeks have just been kind of packing and moving and whatnot. It's all peachy keen, my friends. I hope you're all doing well. I hope that uh, you've all been safe and healthy and comfortable and uh, I hope that you've been enduring this ridiculously disgusting 90 to 95 degree weather that we've been having lately. At least we have been in upstate New York. And um, yeah, I hope you're all staying safe during this uh, political climate and whatnot as well. Um, again, in case any of you have forgotten, uh, Black Lives Matter, that doesn't uh, go away. That's not a fad um, that still counts for something. So. Um, let's keep that in mind and keep fighting and, and making sure that our voices um, help magnify how important it is that everybody is treated equally, uh, whether you are gay, straight, African American, whatever, doesn't matter. So, today, for you, first and foremost, my scent to the day, which I still owe you all a review of, Terra de Hermes Outre Fresh. Love this stuff. Um, it's disgusting today. It's 90 and like 70% humidity. So I went with that because it's a very, very refreshing fragrance. Probably one of the most refreshing fragrances I've ever come across. Um, it does that type of uh, cooling effect very, very authentically. And it's, yeah, it does its job in the high heat and high humidity. So um, that is what I wore today. Let me know down in the comments below what your scent of the day was. Now on to the, uh, the meat and potatoes, as Mark would say, of the video that we've got here. This is a handy dandy package that we got here, right? So this is a package that I've received from Fragrance X. I probably for the last like four months of purchasing fragrances have only maybe bought one fragrance from fragrance net i don't use them anymore i actually um prefer fragrance x as of lately they've got really great affordable prices and i'm finding that they have like a broader selection they have frederick malls and stuff like that which um i'm a huge fan of frederick mall not endorsed at all by these guys i don't i don't get anything from them they don't give me any percentage off or anything but I totally, totally uh, appreciate that company and have been utilizing Fragrance X quite a bit in the last three or four months of purchasing. So, what have I got in my box here? Well, as you can see, it is clearly going to be an unboxing video. And it is going to be a fragrance to christen the new house. Not really, because I've, <laughs> I've worn quite a few fragrances in this uh, house since I've been here. Um, I've worn a lot of Musk Ravageur, obviously, Terre d'Hermes, Eau Fresh, um, Royal Oud, and a few others that I've you know applied while being here. But this, I wanted to be my first package that I arrived, that I had arrived at the new place, and that I would be able to kind of experience along with you guys because we're on to a new chapter. I'm on to a new chapter, which means that you guys will be on to a new chapter with me on this channel, a new environment, uh, new ideas, etc. So what better way than to do it with one of the most gentlemanly fragrances in the history of time and one of the ones that is considered to be a complete masterpiece, uh, 10 out of 10 by many, many people, one that is considered to be a holy grail and one that most every male, at least major male influencer that reviews fragrances on YouTube has obtained a bottle of. Now, I had run out of my bottle probably about a year ago. 
I had the uh, four ounce bottle of it and I have just recently run out. I had that for nearly 10 years. So it's not one that I use nearly as much as some of the ones that, um, you know, I, I frequent like Muscat Azure or um, Royal Oud or Millicent Imperial or Reflection Man, the list goes on, uh, where I actually have to buy a bottle like once every two years. This one, however, has gotten more play in the last two, three years um, from me. And that's really where the bulk of my usage came from because I think that I've kind of matured a little bit in what I consider to be a fragrance that I would use more on a more regular basis. Uh, I've kind of veered away from the really ultra sweet stuff and kind of gone toward fresher, spicier. Uh, well, spicy has always been something, you know, something that's kind of allured me anyways, but fresher fragrances, more gentlemanly fragrances, more easy to get along type fragrances, uh, Chypras, um, uh, Fougeres, you know, stuff like that. Um, and this is considered, again, one of the staples in any man's collection. Um, you're going to see across the board in YouTube that this makes it in people's, you know, if you could only keep four, if you could only, you know, whatever niche list of like the seasons, blah, blah, blah. It always makes it in the top four, five, whatever from most people's lists. So without further ado, why don't we go ahead and unbox us a legendary fragrance. Now, the one thing that I, the one thing that I can't stand and neither can Clint Eastwood over here is the fragrance X boxes. They are obnoxious. There's no like, there's a pull tab, right? But as you're about to see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna struggle with this because you're supposed to pop the pull tab in, which isn't working. We're gonna struggle with this together. Yeah, alternate route. I believe in us. Yeah, these damn boxes, I'm, I'm telling you, they're like the most obnoxious uh, boxes ever. So, as you can see, that's just, I don't know, like a lid, I guess. And just like folds out. Uh-oh, what is it? Okay. What we got in here? You know, they got tissue paper in there and blah, blah, blah. Not important. What's important is, is this thing right here. Y'all see that? Very, very important I am. This is the Yoda of fragrance collections, okay? Like if there was a council and people uh, had their fragrances appointed as certain, I don't know, noble characters, this is Yoda. And if it was a celebrity, it'd be probably like Daniel Day-Lewis or something. Go ahead and get this baby unpacked. I am actually a really big fan of this new bottle. Like, holy shit, is that fresh looking. That is, um, this is the 1.7 ounce, just because I don't see myself running through a, uh, a 3.4, or I mean, a four ounce flask um, quickly. And to be frank, I actually can't stand the 3.3 ounce bottles. I think that they look kind of ridiculous with like how big they are with the shape. I really like the little 1.7 ounce bottles though. I think that they're really classy looking and they fit really nicely in your hand. Um, so you, know, you got your Creed information and, and the pictures and you know, you've seen one Creed box, you've seen them all pretty much. Although I will say with, uh, with obviously Aventus and um, some of the others, like Spice and Wood and Royal Mayfair and um, Green Irish Tweed, there, there's different textured boxes and different style boxes. And with Green Irish Tweed, there's this beautiful uh, velvet that I will probably play with quite often because I am a sucker for the feeling of velvet. 
So, why don't you say we uh, spray this bad boy on? And of course, the dust is going to get collected on this beautiful uh, cap here. But I really love that they kind of changed the, um, the cap so that there's an offset of color and it makes it so the contrast is really, really beautiful with the bottle. So Green Irish Tweed, let's see how she smells with one of the newer bottles. Since I had um, an older bottle from 2011 that I just finished. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I haven't smelled any of the newer Green Irish Tweed uh, bottles. Yeah, she's good. She is good. Now, I don't get too, too much into the hysteria of uh, batch codes and all that kind of stuff when it comes to Creed. Uh, I will say that my last purchase of Millicent Imperial got almost an immediate um, sale because I couldn't, couldn't believe what I was smelling. I think George from The Fragrance Apprentice has stated this as well, that it's barely recognizable anymore, which is disgusting in my my mind because it's <laughs> it's one of my most frequented and most used bottles. I have gone through at least, at least, and I'm not exaggerating, why would I? Why would I need to? Um, I've gone through at least four, four ounce flasks of Millicent Imperial in the last 10 years. So, when I purchased my last bottle and it just did not smell like that crisp, it was missing missing the crisp aspect of Millicent Imperial. I just couldn't believe it. And I, uh, I sold my bottle probably two weeks later. I kept trying, I wore it like maybe three or four times trying to uh, figure out what the hell was going on. And there's nothing to figure out. It, it's been, right, just go ahead and knock over the greenhouse tweed. It's a, it's a, it's a shame when that kind of thing happens. Um, but it does happen, and it happens frequently in the beauty industry, and especially with fragrance. So, um, if you can't get around it, then don't get too attached to any of the fragrance. That's the problem, right? Is like we get so attached to some of these, but you really can't because at any given moment, um, regulations can change. Whatever, whatever things can get discontinued because they're not as popular. Since there are trends, the list goes on. Buy your backups now for the ones that are beloved to you. That's all I've got to say. I've done I've done that, and that's that's what needs to happen. But my God, what a clean, fucking monstrous fragrance! It's not monstrous. It's it's quite delicious and quite masculine and quite gentlemanly and and um, there is a sexuality <laughs> that comes along with this thing. Uh, I think it's just very um, straightforward and bold in a certain way, even though it is like a fresh fragrance. I don't know. It's just, it's very much something that I picture uh, a man like George Clooney wearing, and uh, it does its job. And I am very excited to douse myself in this stuff tomorrow. And I'm very excited that this was the first package and fragrance unboxing that I've had in my new place. I hope that you all have enjoyed. I'm gonna just give myself another spray for good luck. I cannot wait to have uh, Catherine smell this on me as well because she hasn't and probably, like I said, at least a year since my other bottle has uh, emptied. So she's a fan of uh, Green Irish Tweed. So let's see how it goes. I love this stuff. I love you all. I will talk to you all soon. And I am very much looking forward to uh, being back to uh, the regular um, show, you know, getting back to making some reviews for you guys. So I hope that you're all staying well, and I will see you all soon. Bye, guys.